Hello guys, welcome back to our new video. In this video, we are going to create this mini project with JavaScript. This project will help us to count the number of vowel and consonant of a given. So, for example, we have a word America and in it, the number of vowel is 3 and the number of consonant is 4. So, let's get started. Now, we have this HTML page and this CSS page. First of all, we will create the body with width 100 VW, height 100 VH, display flex, justify content center, align item, center. These three lines will help us to place the child element of body in the center of it. Now, for, uh, for styling, we will use background linear gradient to right now we look so we get this now in the body we have this main tag so let's style the main dot main with, with 300 pixel padding 2 rem 2 rem background color white as we can see here it is no. let's add some border radius border radius will be 8 pixel that's good now let's have box shadow No, it, it it have some box set so uh, display flex flex direction will be column justify content center align item center gap will be one R. let's add some content so first of all we have h2 that will be counter okay and here we have a p tag that is this is the program that will count them. not looking good so let's start it no. the main tag Text align will be center. Good. The size of font will be 12 pixel. Looking good. Let's have the input section where input type text. Place under will be enter about. and uh, we have a button okay which will have class btn and submit so good now let's style this input field so input field will be padding 0 0.3 rem 0 0.7 rem outline will be none and text transform will be lower doing good and for the button that have class btn let us start dot btn will will be 100 percent padding will be same 0 0.3 rem and 0 0.7 rem border will be none cursor will be pointer it is not looking even good so let's remove this pretty awesome now let's color it background color will be hmm. this and color will be 
okay now we will have here a p tag which have class name display vowel and similarly we have another paragraph that will contain the class name constant so we are ready with the main css part now let's add some javascript to do the main task here is script tag the main thing we want that if we fill something in it then we retrieve the value on some okay so for that let's add some function on click we will have get value function okay so here is the function function will be get value so when the user will click on the submit then this function will run let uh, val will be document dot query selector here we have to select this input field so let's add the class name will be text so in here dot text dot val let's check if it is working or not now control tab i if we type here search in and submit then we can see that we are getting the value set now the other task we have is that in this form we are getting a whole word but we want each alphabet separate so for that we will have another function that will create an array so for this let arr will be val dot split this split method will separate each alphabet now if we check it then it will look like this. here we will enter sachin and on click of submit we can see that this is the whole word and that will print each alphabet separately in form of this now let's create two variable count vowel equal to zero and let count consonant will be zero as we are getting the value so now we have we should remove this console dot log we have to run a for so that we can traverse each element of the array so for that let i will be zero till i is smaller than the length of array the i will be increased by 1 now check the condition if array i is equal to a or array ka i is equal to equal to e or array ka i is equal to equal to i now this is the condition in which we are saying that if the element of array is equal to a or uh, element of array is equal to e or i or o or u then this will happen then it will increase the count vowel that is this which is initially zero it will count it will increase the count vowel by one and now if this condition is not satisfied then count consonant will get increase let's check is it is working or not so log count vowel and log count consonant so now let's enter something if we add if we type america and some then we can see that here is the count of vowel that is 4 and here is the count of 3 now a e i and a these are vowel and they have four count so it is working 
the next task we have is that on click of submit here we get two lines that will say the number of vowel and number of consonants so let's work into it the, this is the easy step so for this we will say that display vowel here we will copy it control c now after the checking of this condition we will write document dot query selector display vowel dot inner html will be equal to number of vowel is let's have template letter that is easy dollar and count vowel let's check is it working or not so if we type such in and submit then we can see that here is number of vowels same two that is a and i now similarly do it for consonant so display vowel consonant that is this now number instead of number of vowel we will have consonant count consonant. so let's check is it working or not so change our right. now on submit we can see that this number of vowel is three that is a i and a and the number of consonant is 7 so i hope you understand something valuable from my video